You know it must be a day that ends in Y because Ghost has released a new holster with an action movie type name. It is the Ghost Hydra holster. Are you ready? Stand by. Welcome back to the Humble Marksman channel. I'm David and on deck today we will be discussing the Ghost Hydra holster. The Ghost Hydra holster is at its core a race holster. It features the same retention mechanism as the Ghost the One holster with the large ball bearing. However, it doesn't have the little tooth at the bottom that requires the upward travel of the holster. So the gun will tip forward out of the retention bucket, but because of the design of the shroud at the bottom, it won't just fall out of the holster. So with the holster unlocked, the gun cannot come out of the holster and likely won't jog out either. But at the flick of a switch, you can lock the gun in. So my ultimate racer is super safe in my Hydra holster. I mean, I think it's awesome that Ghost names their holsters the way they do. They have like the Thunder, the One, Super Ghost Evo. It's just like they, they think of like action hero characters and name holsters after them. And that's really amusing to me. So putting the ultimate racer aside, let's take a closer look at the Hydra. So the actual holster itself is very similar to the hanger used on the One or the Ghost holster. It has a couple screws that are drilled in at either side that allows it to mount to their quick detach, the D-clip they call it. So it comes off the belt super easy, which is a nice feature for travel if you're going to like flyaway matches and such. It quickly mounts back onto the belt. There is a little bit of wiggle from the D-clip onto the belt. Uh, I'm gonna try again at getting the little screw that's set there to take all that wiggle out. But the D-clip type hanger actually does provide more offset, which is a good thing because the one and the ghost holsters, they're just a little bit tight to the belt. And this D clip provides much needed clearance to allow like your slide racker and your gas pedal to be away from your body. The adjustability is the same as the rest of the ghost holster lineup. It has the thigh pad. It can be oriented kind of in or out depending on what you want. You can change the cant sort of this way. The big difference is that there is this boot at the end of the holster that retains the gun and prevents it from spilling forward out of the holster. There are these little grub screws at the top, which I suppose they're supposed to like put downward pressure onto the muzzle of the gun, which probably makes sense for like a limited gun, but on an open gun with a compensator, it absolutely doesn't make sense. That said, the first couple draws with this little hood on the holster were a little bit foreign. It didn't necessarily slow me down. It just kind of created tension in an area where there usually isn't tension on the draw. But then I began to immediately see what the appeal of the Hydra holster is. I'm not a three gun competitor, so I'm not gonna shoot you with this BS like I know what three gun competitors need, but in my mind, holstering hot with like a 2011 race gun, like if you had an open gun with like a STI staccato with the little compensator with the slide ride optic, or if you had just a, you know, a limited gun with iron sights, just like a some sort of 2011 variant, you need a holster that you can holster super quick and have a super secure lock. And it's reasonably quick to lock this uh, gun into the holster using this lock. The lock is more positive than a lot of the other stuff that's going with like a traditional type Kydex holster, but the draw is still super fast on the release. And because of their safety mechanism, if you were to run around with the gun in the holster and need to deactivate the lock on the draw, it's super natural to do just by getting a master grip on the gun and pulling up on it, your finger will hit the lever on the way up and it is very fast. It's not uncomfortable. It absolutely would work as the three gun holster, at least in my mind. So this is the point when the three gunners jump down into the comments section and let me know whether I'm full of crap or this is a potentially viable three gun holster because that's where I really see the value in this. I do think like limited gun type links would be a sweet spot for how this is designed. I think open guns are just a little bit too long, but it absolutely would work as an open holster. I used it in a practice session. I didn't have any problems. I dry fired with it for a couple weeks and I honestly had no problems with it. So you can play any gun games with it, uh, same as you would any locking race holster from Ghost, but I think when you get into the three gun realm, this thing it really starts to shine and is probably an answered prayer for some people who want to use race holsters in three gun. So for those of you who have not used a Ghost holster before, I do need to call your attention to these two little bolts back here. Those need blue Loctite. Go ahead and blue Loctite those bad boys on there so they don't back out. I didn't blue Loctite these because I honestly forgot. 
but I have on all the other ghost holsters that I have and there's just this little bit of wiggle. It's not enough to screw up my draw or anything like that but the bolts do slowly back out over time. So definitely hit those with some blue Loctite and it'll keep it nice and tight for you. And it's worth throwing out there that Ghost is moving its operations to the US. If you want to buy Ghost gear, you can go to ghostholsterdirect.com. If you use the code GEARUP10, you can save 10% on your order. So if you're getting tooled up for the action shooting sports and you need a belt with like magnets and all that other cool stuff, you can get a whole belt set up there. Their rig kits are a pretty good value. They're already discounted by like 10%. So if you use that coupon code on top of a rig builder, you save all kinds of money. And it's the cheapest way that I'm aware of to get into the game other than like a wish.com type mag pouch, which is dodgy and is basically stolen intellectual property rights. So you might as well at least tip your hat to the people who came up with the design in the first place. So now's the time for interaction with you guys. If you worked for Ghost Holsters and you got to name their new race holster, what would you name it? Sound off in the comments below. And if you've made it this far, you'll enjoy watching this other video on the Ghost Holsters that I've made, as well as this really old video on the 360 mag pouches from forever ago, and it's terrible and dodgy and you shouldn't watch it. But in the meantime, I appreciate you guys and I'll catch you on the next one.